It's a beautiful day to have a beautiful day. I can't wait to show you how I decorated the inside of my home with whimsical flowers and greens. I've always wanted to create a whimsical floral installation, like the ones you see on Pinterest. So I figured why not do it for my own wedding? While out shopping for the right flowers, I felt a bit paralyzed by the sheer amount of options there were. I mean, the flower district seemed to have a wider selection than a botanical garden. And they were all equally gorgeous. So, why did I end up going with such simple flowers? It's true, the baby's breaths that I chose are extremely common in bouquets. They even carry these at the local grocery stores. So it's really nothing special. But after combing through rows and rows of all sorts of exotic flowers, I realized that baby's breaths were all I needed. They're whimsical, versatile, and extremely abundant. The way they all stick together so well without needing any adhesives makes them perfect for this project. This simple, tiny, beautiful flower was all I needed to transform my dining space into the lush garden that I envisioned. I can't think of a better analogy of how John and I came up with our family mission statement together. During one of our premarital counseling sessions, we were given the assignment of creating a family mission statement, which we were initially super excited about. But it wasn't long until we realized just how many good values there were to choose from. From kindness and generosity, to joyfulness and fun, there were numerous options out there. And needless to say, we wanted it all. How could we not? But we had to take a step back and envision the big picture. Knowing our passions and personalities, we had to ask ourselves what kind of environment we personally thrived in. The answer was a warm, inviting, an uplifting environment. Now that we knew what we wanted, the next step was to figure out how to get there. For us, the way to create a warm and inviting space is to show empathy, respect, gentleness, generosity, and a propensity for fun. With those key words guiding us, putting together our mission statement was a cinch. But before I tell you what it is, I want to thank Bloomscape for sponsoring this video and sending me so many beautiful, healthy plants for my wedding. I received their Tough Stuff collection, which includes three easy and adaptable plants. The snake plant, the ZZ plant, and a Hoya. I also received a phyllodendron heart leaf, which I'll show you later. But these babies came out of the package already thriving. 
I'm placing them strategically throughout my kitchen to cover up my outlets and just add more lushness and whimsy. Bloomscape has a wide variety of plants, from these little guys to some that are up to 5 feet tall. You can sort all of their plants based on size, difficulty, pet friendliness, and more. If you want new plant babies, but don't want to risk the pandemic to go to the nursery, then Bloomscape is a wonderful option for plant delivery. Your plants will arrive in tip-top condition with 100% recycled packaging and customized care instructions. I prefer them over other online plant shops because they have options galore and I know there's consistency in quality every time. Just click the link in my description below for 20% off and free shipping on your first order. Now back to our mission statement. Here's what John and I wrote. We are a fun, giving, and respectful household that puts others before ourselves by being gentle and empathetic. As we walk in step with Christ, we will create a warm, inviting, and uplifting environment for everyone who visits our home, as well as for our own family members. This is my first time sharing the mission statement with anyone, but I'm so happy with what we came up with and I can't wait to hang it somewhere special in our home. Having a mission statement is such a powerful yet profoundly simple way to stay focused on your goals. Even if you're single in this season, it's helpful to create a mission statement for yourself so you can learn what you value most and live it out more intentionally. Here's how to get started. Number one, describe the environment that you thrive in the most. Number two, describe the types of mindsets, attitudes, and behaviors that it takes to create that kind of environment. And number three, choose the top repetitive keywords to craft your own mission statement. I'd love to hear what you come up with in the comments below. For now, enjoy the final clips of my DIY wedding day florals. <laughs>